Hey guys, welcome to Autons Computer Repair. Today I'll be showing you how to automatically sign in to a user account at startup in Windows 10. So basically, you know, whenever the new feature comes up on Windows 10, you see this screen, and then it usually prompts you to sign in to user. Well, what happens if you want to get rid of that feature and just to automatically sign in on there automatically? Well, this tutorial will be showing you how. All right, so let me go ahead and sign in right here. We're technically already signed in. We're just locked right there just to show you the screen. And there's going to be a couple ways how we're going to do this. The first option is going to be doing this through um, the net PO Wiz way. That gives us the options to change some settings and to check it and to automatically sign in for it. Now, the second option is going to be through registry. And this one will actually apply to one that would work if you're in Active Directory. And if you want to automatically sign in and it'll give you a little bit more ability because whenever you join to Active Directory, the net POS feature will not even have the option on there. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you do is go ahead and go to start. And like you see right here, you're going to go to start menu. Actually, you technically don't even have to click the start. You actually could just type right here and just type in reg. No, sorry, we're not doing this. We're doing the net POS one first. So type in net POS. I mistyped that. Let's see. Right here, net PO is, and you will see this appear. Go ahead and click it. If it prompts you, it didn't prompt me, so you'll probably have that option. And you see it shows users must enter a username and password to use this piece, this computer. Well, basically, this will be a simple one for us for if you're just on a regular local account. You'll just uncheck that and press apply. And right here, you would type in your password, and you'll press OK, and it should be set. So let's go ahead and restart it and see what it does. Now Windows is coming and you see it, it's automatically signing me in. And that's basically the feature on the first one. So let's go ahead and let it continue. All right, so as you notice, it worked. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that feature right now on net PO with. I keep typing the W ahead, my left hand's always off. And here it comes up. And again, you'll just check it to leave it back to normal. Now, when you go to Active Directory on, like for education or business, they may not even have this option at all for this check to uncheck it. So that's why the registry is gonna be more important to do this. So it's just one, it should be set up back to normal. So we're gonna go ahead and go to start or you can click this search bar right here and just type in reg edit. This one should probably prompt you. So go ahead and press yes. And once you get to here, you need to go a little bit locations to get there. So on here, you'll see local machine. Go ahead and select it. And you'll go to software, then to Microsoft. Then you'll look for Windows NT, not just regular Windows. It's a little different part. In. See, there's Windows, we're not looking for that, we're looking for NT. So go ahead and click that, then current versions. Then you scroll all the way down until you see um, when log on. I'm going to go ahead and slide this a little bit to let you see. See, there it is. And from there, you need to have a few features. So, the first thing you do is be sure if you have this feature called um, Auto Admin Login. And Auto Admin Login is already here. So, to allow this to automatically trigger this, you would have to change that value from 0 to 1. So, go ahead and press OK. So, this would now enable the ability for to automatically sign in. Now there's maybe a few, a couple other things that you need to be sure for this to work. Next, you would have to be sure if you have a default username. If this one, you see this one already has it. If it doesn't have it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this to show you. You may have to create this file. So you would have to 
create a new one by right clicking on it select a new string value and name that string value to um, view default I'm mistyping this let me see it. default domain name okay this is I'm sorry let me go ahead and click the other one out too I guess I have both of them in there there's a couple ones that we had to type so we saw this one also the default domain name I'm going to go ahead and delete that one too out of this list so most of the time they usually don't exist in this so you usually have to create it so let's try again new string value and there's both of them you're going to have to create the default domain name that would have to be created and also a another string value of creating a default user name okay so right here you're gonna have to create a default username that's gonna be the user that I currently have default domain can be a feature in case you have a domain let's say you're in a if you're in an active directory on there so if it was like something like business you would have to type in that for this feature to work also another trick that sometimes if you're in active directory you would have to create if you don't want to be in there you can then have to have the name of the computer and you will type it in that place another option trick that they don't really tell you for this to work if you don't want to log in only to the local user even though the computer's in active directory you literally could just type in this feature called dot slash Oh, not right there, a little bit more to that. Dot slash, and this will also create you to the local one. Most of the time, if I'm correctly, if it's already in Active Directory, you might just only have to type in the specific user, whatever it is, like user, if that user existed, and should do it. But I'm going to go ahead and press as it is and press OK. And the next thing you're going to have to create is the default password. Let's see if it's here. And no, I do not have that. So let me go ahead and create that one. A default password. So I'm going to right click and select a new string value. And I'm going to name this default password. And on this part, you actually would have to type in my password for this. Um, for security, I am not going to show you what mine is. So let me go ahead and type it in though. And then you press OK. Now it should be set. So let's go ahead and exit this out and let's restart this computer and see what it does. And here it is automatically signing in. So that registry that we created worked. And I'll show you again how you can just remove this. Um, right now we're going to actually check also on NetPOS if it still shows the same settings there. So let me just go ahead and type it in NetPOS real quick. And you see right now it's unchecked and I didn't do anything on here. So I'm going to press cancel. And now let's do the registry way. So reg edit, and I'll probably prompt us, press yes. And I'll probably remember where you're last at, if not, it's fine. So let's go ahead and delete the files. I'm just going to delete the default password because I don't need this here. And I'm gonna delete the default password. Well, actually, you can actually leave them, it's up to you. Originally, all you have to do is actually uncheck the auto admin login back to zero. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove these files because I do not want them on there. So there we have it. So let's go ahead and restart and see if it's gone. Actually, cancel that. Let's check real quick. I'm going to go ahead and type in here. And well, I could just type it right on the start search. I don't know why I opened that up. And I'm going to type in net POS. And you see it's checked again. So the registry takes place for the actual GUI on there. So just for security, let's go ahead and give it a try just to show you. And we're going to restart the computer again just to see.
but let me go ahead and sign in and there you have it. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I'll see you on our next video.